Hey everyone, Excalibur here, and I'm bringing you part four of the Flight Animation Blueprint tutorial series. In this part, we will be creating some animations to go with the sprinting locomotion. Um, and then the next part of the tutorial series will actually be putting them together. I split it up into two different ones, mainly because this one is going to take a little bit longer uh, than normal, as you are creating around eight animations. But they are very basic animations, it's really easy to do, so... This is what the end product will look like. So you'll be able to go into sprint. And the further you turn, your character will go into the multi-directional movement. And then when you stop, your character has a stopping animation as well. So we'll get right into this. So we'll go into our project. And the first thing we want to set up is our player input. So go into Edit, Project Settings. And under Engine, go to Input. And we want to do an action mapping. So we'll create a new one. And we're going to just call this Sprint slash Supersonic. The only reason I name it that is because sprinting, then you can also use the same key for when your character's on the ground for sprinting. Um, and we're going to bind this to the left shift on our keyboard. You can bind it to whatever key you want or, okay. So now we need to adjust the player blueprint. Um, and we need to correct the braking deceleration for when our character stops moving, then they will stop faster when sprinting. So if you go under the character movement under the components tab and type in fly you'll find your braking deceleration I set it to 1500 this just gives it so when your character stops they stop moving and after the animation plays the character will be at a full stop pretty much so now we need to create a new boolean variable this will be used later in the next part of the tutorial and we're going to call this is supersonic the question mark. This is going to determine whether or not the animation blueprint will be playing our supersonic animations when we press shift. Um, because when our character is not moving in the air and we press shift, we don't want the character to actually play any animations. So, all right, so now we, this is the part that will take the longest. We need to create a collection of animations. So, first we need to find the right animations to do. Um, now, luckily, within Unreal Engine, we are able to create basic animations and keyframe them into different poses so we can use. Um, uh, this is like really, it's really simple to do. You can do with any animations you want. It's easy um, and it's a good way to create leaning animations for sprinting and running um, and different looking direction animations if your character needs an aim offset. So, we need to search for AFL supersonic. And now we have our different supersonic poses, our idle poses. And what we need to do is we need to create copies of the left idle and the right idle. So here's left idle, AFL supersonic left idle, and then AFL supersonic right idle. So just right click and we'll duplicate those. Now with those duplicated, drag them into our AFL BP folder just so it's easier to find them. And I'm going to rename them after I create two more duplicates. So we want to create two more duplicates. Now we can rename them. So we have left idle. We'll rename this to left up idle. And this one to left down idle. get the names right. All right. And then the other one will be right up idle and then right down idle. All we're simply doing is going to be taking these and rotating the character, keyframing it, and that's it. Along with these, we also want our ascend idle animation. It should be the first one in the folder. So we want to duplicate that. and just move it into the folder as well. 
and we are going to rename this to descend. All right, so now we need to go into each one of these and correct, correct the rotation value of the x-axis. So to do this, we will go first, we're going to go inside the AFL supersonic left, no, descend idle. We'll do descend idle first, it's easier to see. So when you open it up, you have your character playing their animation, the timeline is moving. The first thing we want to do is pause this timeline. And we want to bring the slider all the way back to zero. So when we keyframe our animation, the character will be in a pointing downward position the whole time. So the first thing we need to do, find our skeleton tree. You can also go to character, show, sorry. Okay, you go to character, bones, all hierarchy. Then you can see all the bones. Select the root bone. And along the X axis, we want to rotate 180 degrees. Once this is done, if you save it and close out, the character will snap back to their original position. So we want to freeze this um, rotation along the x-axis. And to do that, the keyframe, the key button up here will key this frame and freeze them in that position for the entire animation. So if you save it now, you'll see our character is now pointing downwards in a flight position. So we'll pause that again. So we want to do this with each of the other animations as well. So we have supersonic left down. Again, pause this time, the uh, slider, bring it back to zero, grab the root. For these ones, you just need to rotate 90 degrees, depending on what direction. So left down, 90 degrees down. Keyframe it, save it, you're done. Next, left up. So the same thing, take it rotate them up 90 degrees. Another thing with these ones is you can see that the root is a little bit of ways from the center. So you can just drag that back in and just place them. Keyframe it, save it. Also make sure to double check with these ones as well. Yeah. So we want to bring them back in, key it, save it. Remember always whenever you make an adjustment, press the key button at the top. Then you will have the character frozen in position. So. I'll show you what actually what happens if you don't press the keyframe. So if you don't press the keyframe, say you made your rotation and you just saved it and you closed out. But then when you go back to open it, the character is back in the position. So you want to make sure you press that keyframe. It's the important piece that you want to take away from this. So grab the root, rotate 90. This is the downward. And then just bring his feet to the origin, keyframe it, and save. Same thing here. This one is the up. Drag it to the origin, keyframe it, save. All right, so now we have our slight rotations. Now what we want to do is if our character is rotating to the extreme, we want to have the character play a slightly different animation. And this is really simple. It's not difficult to get this in. So what we will do, and we'll just save real quick. Just save everything. What we want to do is find our left and right idols again. And we'll just create two more duplicates. I'll move them in there. Okay. And we will rename left idle Extreme. Right idle. We'll name it to right. Extreme. All right. So when our character is turning, if we go, I set it to 90 degrees. If our character, the mouse, the player moves the mouse 90 degrees, we want the character to look like they are actually rotating in a 90 degree angle. So to do that, if you put the character on the side and rotate them up once. Bring them back in. So now, if our character is flying to the left, you can just imagine how this would look. 
the camera will become offset a little bit and it looks like the character is moving into the camera frame. So we'll key it and save it. And for the right extreme, we'll do the same thing. Hold up, we just want to make sure we have the right amount that I rotated it by. Same thing. Always make sure you select that root bone. You don't want to be moving any other bones around. You can move other bones around if you wanted to, say, have the character's chest. Um, say you wanted the spine to be rotated a little bit. You can have them rotate the spine a little bit more, but we're just going with the root. So rotate about 60 degrees and then rotate them up once. So now when our character is moving to the right, this is how the view will look. The character looks like they're moving into the camera frame. So key it, save it. All right, and to, to add these for the flying up and down, we'll just take both of these, duplicate, and I'm going to name this to left up extreme, and then right up. Extreme. Where did that left up go? I'm going to take off that two at the end. And you can take these again and we can duplicate them. When I create, when I update this pack with these blueprints, I will have all of these animations inside of it already set up for you because this, when this tutorial is done, I will be adding this to the marketplace, the flight animation blueprint for everyone to use, along with godlike and jetpack animation blueprint updates. So, so left up extreme is our first one. No, left down extreme is, sorry. So again, pause that timeline, bring the slider back, select the root bone, this is left down, and we will rotate him 90 degrees down. Key it. Save it. So now when our character is pointing down and we move the mouse to the left, the character will rotate in the left direction as well. It'll look like he's spiraling. So and now we go left up extreme. Again, pause the timeline, bring the slider back, and rotate him up 90 degrees. Now we want to find the right down extreme. Rotate them 90, keyframe it, save. And then the right up extreme. Key it, save it. Okay. Now we have all of our animations. That is the end of this tutorial. Um, if you want to add any extra animation, transition animations, you can. At this time, I will have the next tutorial part up sometime this week because it does not take as long to set it up. So, But I wanted to get this out of the way. Since this is a, a new thing for most people to learn, I wanted to make this a separate tutorial just in case someone else was looking for how to key animations and make simple animations within Unreal Engine. So uh, I will catch you all later. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.